is it's very, very easy. As long as you do it March to August, because that's when it's warm, that's when it wants to grow. We're not gonna sow it very deep. I'll show you how to sow it in the ground, but in pots, we use three and a quarter, we call them rose pots. And we use whatever soil you have. Not from the ground, because this ground can be very inconsistent, but a potting soil, any potting soil works. For most nursery work, I like to spend money, but this grows anywhere. This is a very weedy plant, as long as you're growing it during the warm season. So we pack our soil to the top, we'll make a little hole, I'll show you exactly how to do it, and then we put three to five seed. The milkweed seed sometimes is not the best, so we'll plant, I would just say five seed. We're gonna give you guys, if you want, 50 seed. Michelle's making some packets for us, and we'll give you 50 seed and you can take them home and plant them immediately, right? So they can develop a root system, right? We want this root system to be even bigger. Then this is gonna die back. This root system will be happy all winter. The heat comes next March and they'll take off. So you can see a lot, there's, this one only had one plant come up. So a lot of those seeds were bad, but a lot of these have multiple plants that are coming up and that's what we want. So let me show you, is the soil over here? You guys can all stay right there. It wants to be near a sprinkler. Nice. Thank you. So, this is just regular potting soil. This costs us, if we were to buy it in a nursery, it would cost us probably about 10 bucks for a bag. You can spend up to 20 bucks if you want. We, we have these pots if you want to take some home and we're going to pack it down and I think a lot of people make the mistake of not packing it down hard enough. We want to pack it down hard. We don't want it loose. We're not growing a very simple little vegetable. We're, brand, we're growing a drought tolerant native plant so I'm packing it down hard. Can you touch that? Is it pretty firm? Yeah? Cool. So that's what we want. We want firm and then I'm going to dig a little hole. That's about maybe an eighth of an inch deep, maybe a fourth. And that's where the seed are gonna go. Five seed, because our seed is not perfect. And some of it's not coming up 100%. So if we plant five seed, we're getting good germination. So this is what the seed looks like. So there's six seed right there. I'm gonna use all six seed here. And here's the important part. There needs to be contact with the seed and the soil. So if all you do is this, there's a lot of air. Mm. The seed is touching air. We don't want that. We want the seed to touch the soil. So we need to make contact. So now there's contact. And I'm gonna water it about every two days. And the soil is already wet. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's wet because I you know when you make tortillas and you squeeze the dry flour? It doesn't hold together, but when it's wet, it sticks, right? So this is perfect. So this is already wet. So we don't have to water the soil. We just need to water the top, right? So about every two days, we water, and in about seven to 10 days, they'll come right up. This time of year, they come right up. Who said, what was that? Did someone ask something? I think it's a little bit. Okay. Cool. Would you say that's true for all native plants? Is that negative? Nothing? No, no. I have a whole seed class. This is no way. Just this is this is the easiest. If if Master was like, hey, let's do a monkey flower class because monkey flowers see they feed dinosaurs and monarchs. I'd be like, I can't. It's it, it would just be too hard for you guys. Not that you can't do it. It just right. takes too much attention. Okay. This okay. is so simple. Okay. And it's, the, it's one of the only reasons we can, I feel confident giving them out because they're so easy. So that packing and packing is not true of all natives? Just no, it's the opposite. Most okay. of our native seed is sown right on the surface. And okay. when you water it, it washes right off if you're not paying attention. Okay. So, um, yeah, but this one, pack, down, perfect. So you guys, if you want, we have some soil. We don't have a ton of soil, but you guys are welcome to take some soil. If not, you can buy your own. You can plant even in something this deep. This is about as deep as I would go. And once they wake up, you know, you can plant them like I'll show you guys, or you can keep them in the pots all winter. Let the rain water them or yourself water them once they go to sleep, and then they'll come right back up.
Do you have a question, ma'am? Yeah, uh, when you mentioned the water every two days, after that you said to do that kind of frequency for pen, or for how long after that? Well, let me see if this is if this is a monarch plunger, it's not. So, <laughs> what, what was your question? So I just kind of uh, miss you. So so After yeah. two, so you press and then make sure that we put the water on top. Yes. Right, because the soil is wet already. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned water every two days. Yeah. But for how long? Until you see germination. That's it. Right. Once they wake up, you yeah. stop. You don't really need the water at the top. Okay. You want to water the Before. whole thing, right? So okay. we usually water less often. Mm -hmm. but deeper Thank right you. and I, I hate I've been doing this for a long time and I still can't give you a formula it's just not it's it's not because like we all have like if we're making tortillas yeah. we all have different uh, pans at the house mm -hmm. and I have an electric heater you might have a gas like they all heat up differently so I hate to tell people you're in Simi Valley and you're gonna use a deep pot you're in Agora and you're gonna use a shallow pot yours is in part shade I hate telling people that the best thing to do is to feel the weight of the, the pot. Because when the, the pot is wet, it has a weight. When it's dry, it has a weight. I pretend I'm a waiter, right? Mm -hmm. And this is a cup of coffee. And I should be able to close my eyes and I can feel if my customer drank all of his coffee or not, mm -hmm. right? And that's what you want to do. I think a good nursery person can just go and pick up a pot and go, that needs water. That's how we check for watering, is we check by weight. So we water less often, but we water deeper when they're awake. Right? Thank you. How many seeds did you say you put in? We want to put, you guys should put in five seeds. Five seeds. Yeah. So if you're doing corn, that's grown by um, my friends at Monsanto. It's 100%, sometimes it's 110% germination. Which I don't know how you get 110%. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of weird. But that stuff is perfect. Our stuff is collected from native nature. Some of it's aborted seed. Some of it didn't form correctly. And it's all thrown together. So five seed. And the only reason we do five, we can do it is I would never say throw five acorns together. We don't want five oaks. But if you guys know milkweed, they grow like irises. They grow in clumps. They grow by rhizome and they don't mind being, well, maybe they mind, but they, they can grow close together. They form patches. So it's okay if we have five or one. And somebody here had a question. Yes, when does it get to about this size? How often would you want to keep them water? Depends on where you, so Newberry Park, full sun, we water them about every two to three days. Oh, okay. Yeah. At some but point, do they get established enough that they're... they're they never get stuff? established in pots. This is I mean, somebody who lives room. at home forever. Yeah. You have to buy their food forever. <laughs> you have to make their bed forever. <laughs> Once they get out of the pot, they don't need any water. Once Just, they're established. But they love water. So we can go over there in a second and we can... Yes. So we keep them in the pot for now and then next year we put them in the ground? Right, we're doing two things. You guys can take seed, you guys can do both. You can take the seed, grow them, right? And then they'll go dormant and then just keep those and then water them lightly during the winter and then they'll come back. But you can also take these and then this is what you should do with them now. Does anybody have more seed questions? Well, I have a question about can milkweed thrive in a large pot? Yes, yeah, for sure. They love big pots. Some of us don't have yards. Yeah, the only problem with big pots is that they're gone for like five months. Your pot will be naked, right? It's like going out with someone who's going to be gone from November. To March. <laughs> that room will be empty. That part of the bed is empty, which maybe is a good thing. But it will be gone. It'll be, it'll be gone. Doesn't mean you can't grow other stuff in it. Right? I have other I have other plants that that go dormant yeah. too. So yeah. yeah. So but they're gone. It's not like a rose that drops its leaves but the sticks are still there. It's gone. It's just gone. So let's plant. Let me show you guys how to plant. We're going to plant ideally in groups of 5 cuz that's going to make the factory uh, it's such a bad analogy. <laughs>